you are graphing polygon A, B, C, D in the coordinate plane. The length of segment A, B must be the same as the length of segment D, C. And both segments are horizontal segments. The following are three of the vertices of the polygon. So vertex A is at the point 1, 1. So 1, 1 it puts us right over there. That is vertex A. Vertex C is at the point 4.5, comma 4. So 4.5 along the horizontal axis, comma 4, comma 4. So we go all the way, we go all the way up to, all the way up to 4. So that right over there is point C. Point D is at negative 1.5, comma 4. So negative 1.5 along the horizontal, or I guess we, you know, the, the x-axis we could say. Negative 1.5 comma 4, so 4 along the vertical or the y-axis. So we go right up, go right over there, that's close enough. So that of course is our y-axis, this is point D. And we need to figure out where, what are the coordinates of point B if B must be in quadrant 1. And they tell us that the distance from A to B must be the same as the length of segment D to C and both are horizontal. So let's draw what we know to draw. So DC, segment DC, segment DC is this segment right over here. Is this segment right over here. And we see it's horizontal. Both of the vertical coordinates are four at both vertex D and vertex C. So both of the vertical coordinates are four. Now what is the length of this? Because we're gonna have to construct another segment that has the same length. Well, along the horizontal direction, we went from negative 1.5 to 4.5. So how far did we go? Well, to go from negative 1.5 to 0, you go 1.5. And then you have to go another 4.5. So this is going to be 4.5 plus 1.5, which is equal to 4 plus 1 is 5. 0.5 plus 0.5 is 1. So 5 plus 1 is 6. So this distance right over here is six of our units. Another way of thinking about it, and actually let me put the coordinates in here just so it becomes a little bit clearer. This was the point four point, or do that something easier to see. This right over here is the point four point five comma four, and this right over here is the point, is the point negative one point five comma 4. And so another way of thinking about this distance is you could take the end point, and we're really thinking about the distance just along its horizontal line. So the y value does not change. It doesn't change in the vertical direction, only the horizontal. So you really want to say, well, how far is, if you start at negative 1.5 and you get to 4.5, how far have you gone? So you can just take your end point, your end value, your end horizontal value, your end x value, and from that you can subtract your starting x value. So you subtract negative 1.5, and this, of course, is equal to 4.5 plus positive 1.5, which once again is equal to is equal to 6. So fair enough. And let me draw some of the rest of the polygon just so that we see it is indeed a polygon. So we have this side right over here. It looks like it's going to be a parallelogram. So we have this side right over here, and we have to place point B. And point B is going to be someplace out here. It has to be, it's going to have the same vertical value, or the same y value as point A. So its y coordinate is going to be one. So point B is going to be out here someplace. Point, let me do this in a new color. So point, point B, I haven't used this orange yet. Actually, I have used the orange yet. I haven't used the yellow. No, I've used the yellow. Let's see, I haven't used this green. Point B is going to be someplace out here. So point B is going to be someplace out here. We already know what its y coordinate is. It's a horizontal line, so it's going to have to have the same exact y coordinate as point A. Point A's y coordinate was 1, so this is going to have to have a y coordinate of 1. Now the big question is, what is, what is its x coordinate going to be? Well, it's going to have to be, let me do that in a different color. It's going to have to be whatever a's x coordinate was, it's going to have to be whatever a's x coordinate was, and we see that a's x coordinate was 1, and it's going to have to be that plus 6, because we're going to move the same distance in the horizontal direction. This thing has to be 6. So if we start at 1, we add 6, we get to 7. 
So what are the coordinates of point B? And if, if, especially if point B must be in quadrant one, and notice we are definitely in quadrant one. This is quadrant one, this is quadrant two, this is quadrant three, and this is quadrant four. The coordinate for point B is seven comma one. 